Yo, yo, how's everybody doing today? Plan on having an awesome session. Today, the goal is aerial semi front swing rise. Today, I'm drilling it into submission. All month, I'll be creating a master's guide to this trick, so I wanna really make sure that I have it super solid. So all month, I'll be training aerial semi front swing rise. If anybody has questions about it, I am all for it. That is gonna be the one thing on my mind as I train. This is a good warm up song. Can't get too eager too fast. I am excited though. It's gonna be an awesome session. My body hurts. My body does not feel good, but that's okay. Even if your body hurts, you can still have an awesome session. Whew. I'm gonna warm up with some shadow boxing, just kicking the camera, trying to warm up my legs because they feel tight and they feel heavy. Yo, thank you so much for the subscription. SMC, bruh. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that, man. I wanna fill this whole site with a ton of tricking emotes. And for me to do that, I need people to sub. If we get like a few more, we can actually get a ton of tricking emotes. Plus, I love the emotes I already have. Oh, thank you so much, man. Seriously, thank you so, so much. I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing if it wasn't for people like you. Ooh, and my legs feel super tight. It's not a bad thing. It just means I really need to work them out today. I'm gonna move this piece of Velcro. Bah. Turn the camera down a little bit. Bah. There you go, that looks better. Yeah, dude, I love kicks. I love that icy emote too. Let me drop it too. I'm so proud of these emotes. I don't consider myself a graphic designer, but I am really happy with how these came out. Ba, ba, ba. I'm so excited to make more. Thank you guys who subbed. You guys are the ones letting me maybe make more emotes and just flood this site with tricking. Oh yes, I have a YouTube channel. Just search Mastering Tricking. I have been making YouTube tutorials for over four years. So there is a giant like library of me trying to teach you how to do tricking stuff. So guys, go check that out if you haven't already. Yeah. No, I'm super excited about these emotes. I think they look really good. Whew. All right, like I said earlier, the goal of today is aerial semi front swing rise. So I need to warm up a little bit slow, but once I warm up, it is go time. I'm trying to go ham today. Ugh. So I need to stretch out a little bit slow, warm up at a good pace, drink my coffee like a good boy. Yeah, I love teaching people tricking. Teaching people tricking is my real passion. I'm glad to inspire people more on Twitch, but there is so much educational YouTube content that I've created. And over this entire month, I'll be making the master's guide to the aerial semi front swing rise. And I think that is going to be the only tutorial you need if you wanna really master this trick. I'm super excited to make it. I already have like the outline written. So now it's just what the community wants me to add in after that. Ooh. I'm super excited. I also have a shot list for today. Bah. So it's aerial, aerial semi, rise, front swing rise, aerial semi, front swing rise, aerial semi, front swing rise, swing through cork, and aerial semi, front swing rise, swing through box cutter. My YouTube is the same thing as my Twitch, mastering tricking. Thank you. I hope you check it out and I hope it really helps. 
All right, I'm gonna warm up by doing cartwheels on both sides, just going back and forth. Try and go really low and really quick. My shoulder is still recovering from pulling it like a week ago. So I gotta go a little bit slower on any trick where my arms are supported. That's one of the reasons I'm focusing on aerial semi front swing rise, because I don't need my arms for that. I mean, they need to move, but they don't need to support weight. And movement feels good right now, but putting a lot of weight on my arm definitely does not. Yo, I love Ethan's too. Oh! It looks so good and it's wild looking. Like it's not the cleanest front swing, but it definitely has power. for an athlete. Whew. Starting to work up a sweat, which is good. That is the goal. Goal is gains. Gains is goal. start drilling the aerial now, the tricker style aerial. So going right across my body, not trying to go super inverted or trying to get a lot of flip, but just trying to get a very powerful sideways off axis flip that is cleaner than it is strong. That's what I'm going for right now. When I start going for the aerial semi, I'll be trying to get a lot more inversion, power and flip. But first things first is a nice chill aerial. Down felt nice and high, but I need to use my arms more. Down felt pretty good. I'm landing with my chest really high up, which is good. But I think that one was a little bit too off axis. I'll make this one a little bit more vertical. Yeah, I cannot shut off the monologue in my head of correcting my tricks as I trick. It can be really annoying sometimes, so that's why I will blast music on occasion and pretend the world doesn't exist. So if I don't do that, I just have this monologue in my head of how I need to kick harder, dip my chest more, use my arms more, etc. cetera. Whew. Any Gumby tips? Oh, there's another question from my guy AMC, bruh. <laughs> so your shoulder is flexible that's good, that's really good. You wanna improve your Gumby and TDR. Any stretching tips? Bridge, bridge. The bridge, literally just going up, trying to push your belly button towards the ceiling. Another great exercise is the bridge flip to where I'm going to then turn to a push-up position and then go all the way back around again to get back into the bridge. Ooh. That little exercise is great for building your shoulder flexibility and getting more functional movement out of your shoulders, which is super important for Gumby and any other tricking skill. Yeah, the Gumby tip is stretch your shoulders. That and push your momentum forward and try and get a really strong front swing. <sighs> any tips for B-twist swing through double cork? Try and make sure you get plenty of flip in your B-twist. If you don't have a good, strong flipped B-twist and you don't land in a good, strong eagle, the cork is not gonna feel good, neither is the double cork. So make sure your B-twist is strong and you're landing in that fat eagle. Then it'll be far better. Hmm. God, I love coffee. Me and the bean, we got a relationship and it's good. Ooh. 
Oh, thank you for linking the YouTube, yeah. It's important, I think that a lot of the material that I make is for education. I really want people to learn tricking and get better. Which tricker has my favorite style is a really hard question. I love Andy Lee, I love Jeremy Marinez, I love Michael Guthrie, I like Sando. Sando has one of my favorite styles. Jordan Edwards is really weird. You cannot discount Chose for his style. I cannot pick a favorite, but I can name drop a bunch of trickers who have awesome styles. Ott, Rasmus Ott, come on people. All right, I'm gonna now do the aerial semi. So instead of just getting a big flip, I'm gonna start turning it over, getting a 90 degree twist, and hiking that leg up. So a good strong aerial semi. That one felt good. But it could feel better. A little bit more flip in the beginning. Hike my leg up more and open my arms up and get a little bit more control over them right before I land. Yeah, that one felt really good. I'm getting the turn I need. The thing about the semi landing stance is there's a 90 degree turn. Tricking aerial starts and lands facing one direction. But if you wanna do a good semi, you need to turn 90 degrees to land in the direction of your momentum, so that way you can front swing that leg. Took me a long time to figure that out. Have I ever Cali rolled? No. I want to do it one day, but I have not yet. Do I think there's a good way to, to tricking? Oh, you just gotta do it, man. You just gotta do it. It's hard to start. It's hard to commit, but when you do, it will get easier. Motivation is something that has to come from inside. So think about why you wanna get better. Is it just you wanna land cool skills for your friends? Are you trying to like become a better person by progressing your physical skills so that way you can develop a mental acuity? All of those things are super important. And if you can hone in on why you wanna get good, it will be far easier to get better. Can I try aerial semi front swing? Punch front? That's weird. So I'm working on aerial semi front swing Webster, which is a very similar kind of idea. I don't wanna just snap and punch the front, I'd rather just do the front swing like a Webster. But it'll be off axis, so it won't be exactly a Webster. Let me show you what I mean. in the deepest of squats, but that's what I mean. It's hard to cancel out the twist you get from the aerial semi, and that's what I'm working on right now. Doing the rise feels way better than doing the Webster. No, even if you don't have a trick in club, you just gotta find why you wanna get better. Not why other people wanna get better around you, but literally think about how, where you wanna take your tricking, where you wanna take your skills, it's just something you should think about, and in that, you can find so much motivation. And also document your progress. If you are just learning the roundhouse kick, video how bad your roundhouse kick is now, train it for a month, and then look at the video again compared to what you're doing now, and you will see a dramatic improvement, and that can be so motivational. Oh, aerial semi front swing reverse sow carry through Webster. I'm not doing Webster, uh, reverse sows on my shoulder right now. I don't know if my shoulder could take it all the way. I know my body could, the rest of it, but I don't want my shoulder to pop because that is the weakest part of my body right now. You have to train around the weakest part of your body at that very moment. So if like you have a, a sore swing ankle, you might need to do more front swing tricks instead or just work around it. Or just wait for it to heal. That's why today I'll be training at like 
probably 50, 60%. I'm getting much stronger. This shoulder is way better than it was two weeks ago, but I need to give it that last little bit. Oh, thank you so much, dude. I wanna be nice. I think that uh, tricking would be a better scene and a better place for everyone if we were just all nicer to each other and not as hypercritical of each other's movements. I think that's a really important thing that is not talked about well enough, that we just need to be nice to each other if we all want to progress together. All right, I'm going to move to the rise. Good, strong rise. Now I'm felt good, but not as good as I want it to feel. A little bit more overhead. And that's the rise I want. See, I'm knocking out my shot list. Boom, that's what I need to do today. I can check off aerial, aerial semi, and rise. Next on the list is front swing rise. What is up, Hunter? How you doing today? Or tonight, I don't know where you are or what time zone it is. Or good morning, I don't even know. For me, it's 5 p.m. Or about 5 p.m., we're getting there. Okay, next is a front swing rise. So the setup that I recommend people learn the front swing is a momentum step crescent. Looks like this. Wah! You literally just turn your body 180 degrees, hike up that leg, and then drop it in front. That is the first setup that Michael Guthrie used to use a front swing Gumby for his very first triple cork. And I think it's a great way to really understand the setup. Oh, it's 2 a.m. My guy, what a legend. For you, it's midnight. Yo, thank you guys for tuning in. That means the world to me. You guys are awesome. Thank you so, so much. Oh, and if you guys want more emotes to bring to Twitch, please subscribe. I need as many people as I can, so that way we can like populate this platform with as much tricking as possible. Thank you guys so much for coming out, even though it's midnight, it's 2 a.m. That is awesome, thank you so much. All right, next is the front swing rise. Through that crescent turning setup, because I think that crescent turn setup is the best way. Oh, you're from Spain, dude, that's awesome. I love that. Let's go. Such an international stream, thank you guys. All right, pivot crescent front swing rise. That was bad, I didn't complete the front swing. I think I was trying to rush it and going just way too early. Yeah. Oh, I should make a command for the YouTube. Yeah. In due time, I'm still learning Twitch, still growing on the platform. So I'm still figuring out the little ins and outs to make it a better thing for you guys. So if you guys want me to add anything to the stream, drop it in chat. I'm totally down to work with you guys and make this the best thing for the tricking community that I can. All right, a better front swing rise. Let's do that again, but let's point my toes. This time I got this GoPro to get like little pretty shots during the stream. And I got that GoPro to actually capture the stream. And this GoPro needs a new battery. Thankfully I got him right here. Your boy came prepared. Clean off the screen. And we're back. Okay, perfect. 
Thank you guys for bearing with me. Oh, yo, what's up, Leaf Shinobi? I'll make the command, don't worry, man. I will make the command eventually. Try by the next stream, I'll make a few commands. Cause I should also do commands for like my merch, I should do the YouTube tutorials and like maybe the mastering curriculum if people really want to get good. And I also think I should add in bots so that way people can get like good information constantly fed to them through the chat. I just need to set all of it up and it's gonna take a lot of time. I'm getting there, we're learning. I'm gonna do another front swing rise. Super point my toes. Better, but I need more height. Even better. It's feeling wild. Yeah, I think bots are annoying to set up, but I think it should be better just a better experience for you guys if I just make a few. Nothing too crazy. You guys populate the chat plenty. I don't need to make a whole bunch of bots. Oh yeah, dude, if you wanna keep like posting it, that's totally fine, yeah. So I think for like discovery and learning, cause I wanna do something for you guys to show you the triggers that I really like and analyze them. I'm gonna just do some sampler analysis on the stream. I'm setting it up now in OBS to where I can just drop a sampler in, watch it with you guys and give you a ton of tips. Actually help you learn the sampler and learn how the tricker did the things they were doing. Yeah, I just need to set it up. Everything takes time. <laughs> But the grind is real and I am putting in the work. Thank you guys for supporting us. One more front swing rise from that crescent setup. Nice, nice. Check that off my list. Ba ba. Next. Aerial semi front swing rise. Just drilling it as a setup. Thank you so much for asking about the shoulder. It's not perfect yet. It still has a little bit more work to do. I'd say it's at like 80%, 90%. I haven't been sleeping as well because I got these kittens running all over my face, which is adorable, but not good for athletic recovery. Yo, thank you so much. B, I'm gonna mispronounce that. How long? Be Hong. Let's go with that. I'm sorry, I'm dyslexic and it's not easy for me to pronounce things. And so many people have told me to pronounce their names in so many different languages, it's really hard. But thank you so, so much. Dude, seriously, I appreciate that. You've earned that founder's badge. And it's because of you guys that hopefully I'll be able to add even more emotes to the stream. Icy. Icy. Spam your ice if you got it. Let's go. I'm so happy. All right, aerial semi front swing rise. Boom, boom. Yeah, feeling really strong. Really strong, really good. Yo, what is up, my guy? It's nice to have you on the stream. Bah. All right, the best aerial semi front swing rise I can as I itch my butt in front of a bunch of viewers and not think about it. No, a lot of people don't know I'm dyslexic. It's not like I wear a tattoo on my forehead that says I am dyslexic. I also have ADHD. There's a bunch of things that you guys might, may or may not know about me. I'm really happy to share though.
where do I get the ice emote? You just have to subscribe. If you sub, you get all the emotes. Well, you get the tier one emotes. If you go tier two or three, you can also get send it or master. But Icy's tier one. Don't feel like you have to ever sub or give money to the stream. I just wanna make good content for the people. But those of you who do, thank you so, so much. I could not do this without you. All right, a super strong aerial semi front swing rise, pointing my toes, doing everything right. Yes! Losing headphones, but I don't care if it feels that good. Yes! You have a 15 second delay. I don't know, it might be on your end. I think I have things set up now, but if my audio is delaying for everybody, please let me know. I might be able to do something on my end. Yeah. All right, better aerial semi, <laughs> Betty, uh, can't talk. Better aerial semi front swing rise, nice and strong. I'm gonna check off aerial semi front swing rise. And if I can do this one to a cork, I will. The only other thing on my list is aerial semi front swing rise into a box cutter. Cause I don't do enough box cutters as I should. And I really like box cutters. I think they are a really cool trick. Oh, I'm sorry, it's because you're so far away. That's okay though, thank you so much for tuning into the stream. That's totally fine. Yeah, dude, thank you anyway. Thank you so much for being a part of the stream, for coming in here. By the way, if you guys ever have any questions on tricking, I'm happy to answer them. But first, a good strong aerial semi front swing rise into a cork, asa! Make sure my headphones aren't gonna fly out like a madman. Ugh. Oh yeah, no, I'm working on the quality. I went from 720 to 1080. I need to get a higher frame rate, but to do that, I need to work on the stream a little bit more. We're getting there, we're getting there. Aero semi, front swing rise, swing court. Ah, I did a swing, but I wasn't sure if I was gonna run into all the stuff on the side. It was a good attempt. How long have I been tricking? I've been tricking about like eight or nine years now, but it doesn't really count because I've been doing movement for pretty much my entire life. My, both my parents are coaches. My mom used to coach elite level gymnastics, and my dad has just been coaching movement his entire life. He is an incredibly good instructor. So having them through my whole life made a huge difference in my tricking. I've only been tricking like eight or nine years, but also before that, I did eight years of classical Taekwondo. So I had a lot coming into tricking. This was like my destiny. Ugh. What's the difference between box cutter and cork hyperhook? They're the same thing, it's just a terminology difference. Some people will call it cork hyperhook, some people will call it box cutter. They mean the same thing. All right, this time I'm gonna try and swing into the cork. I'm gonna change my angle a little bit. Yes! It wasn't as strong as I want it to be, but it, it's, it's getting there, it's getting there. It's gains. Gains are the most important thing. Yeah, I'm 25 years old. Yeah. Well, just a lot of people from different cultures name things differently. Like I've heard corkscrew called swing B twist. I have also heard it called barrel roll, but they're all cork to me. And I'm not going to impose my language onto you and tell you you always have to call it cork because I think that's wrong. I think you should be able to call it whatever you want, but when we sit down and talk about it, let's all get on the same page and not point fingers or argue. A video solves all problems. And there's a ton of tricks you just can't name. Can I do a pop moon kick for you? Yeah. Yeah. So like flash kick hook is what I'm assuming you're looking for. 
No, it could have been cleaner, but it was there. I saw itch my legs. So I'm gonna try and do that aerial semi front swing rise swing cork better and cleaner. And I'm gonna try and do it like a few times. No, that was really nifty. Thank you for asking me to do that. I like that little transition there. And I think it's more unexpected than just a normal flash kick. That one, I under-rotated my uh, rise just by a hair. I was able to pull out the cork, but only because I have a really good cork. That was not the best setup. Have I ever done wushu? I have not, but I would love to learn it. I've watched a lot of videos of wushu athletes, and I've learned a lot of wushu technique, but I've never been classically trained in the sport. Yeah, I started tricking when I was 16 or 17. 16 is like when I call it. But it was like halfway through my 16th year. So I'm coming up on, I might be at nine. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a date. I don't have a date where I started tricking. Oh, yo, go walk that dog. <laughs> That's good exercise. I will be here when you come back if you want. Do I have a combo of tricks? Yeah, I have a ton of combos of tricks. You know, I haven't done that many combos, so I will do like a few hype combos. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna take out my headphones for this. I'm gonna do cheat nine, coin drop, master scoot, cork. Yeah, cheat nine, coin drop, master scoot, cork. My shoulder isn't ready for it. I gotta chill. It's hard for me to keep my power level down when I'm doing combos. Can I do crowd awakener knife? Ooh, it's a really good suggestion. I'll try it. Let's go. Yeah, dude, I love tricking. All right, so let me try crowd awakener knife. I'm gonna do it from a cheat setup. Counts. I'm counting it. Let's go. Can I land double full every try? Oh, you can land double full every try, but you can't get enough flip. Then you're not landing it every time. <laughs> get a stronger cartwheel. Get a stronger cartwheel, jump more off your legs, and right at the end of your cartwheel, push through your shoulders. Even though my arm is locked, I have like six inches range of motion through that shoulder. And if you jack up the shoulder, that will help you get way more flip coming out of your cartwheel. And that will translate over to the double pull. Yes, I love the scoot. The master scoot is my favorite setup, but the scoot is really good too. All right, I'm gonna do an aerial semi front swing rise, swing cork. It's gonna be beautiful. was like perfect. That felt so good. Oh, I wish everyone felt like that, but they don't, which means I still need to train it and I need to put in more work. Get more bean in me. Okay, so you're landing but short. Get more flip, push through your shoulders. Trust me, it will help a lot. Can I do a cartwheel into a scoot? I would love to. So cartwheel, left leg's gonna stay up as it goes back so I can scoot. 
nice and chill. I need to get off this arm though. Do more front swings. Yeah, that'd be better. Okay. I, what, so if you're working on your cartwheel, I would just drill the cart full hyper. If you're landing your double short every single time, I would drill the hyper instead of hurting your body. Can I do a B-twist D-leg? Yes. It's been a long time since I've done a B-twist D-leg. Felt good though. Making the gains. All the gains. Whew. Gotta keep the uh, secondary GoPro off. Can't drain the battery too bad. All right. I wanna do like one more hard combo. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm new to Twitch. I'm still learning the platform. I really like it. Coming as a YouTuber for the past like three or four years, being a Twitch streamer feels way more gratifying. I get to actually talk to you guys and it just feels better for me. Have I ever tried Parafuso front swing? No, that's a really good idea though. Yeah, D-leg is a really cool variation. Yeah, it's not a bad thing if your hyper is better than your double. Just keep working the double. Or keep working the hyper and then the double will come easy. I'm a big fan of progression. Progression, progression, progression. All right, aerial semi, front swing rise, swing through court. Nothing under rotated. Ah. I lost the headphone as I went up and it sketched me out. I don't like that. I might just start going without headphones and playing music through the speakers in the gym, but I'm not sure if it'd be good quality for you guys, so I'm still testing things out, still figuring it out. But I'm gonna do that again without the headphones. That's what I want. That is what I want, yes! Yes, clip that if you can, I am so hyped. Oh, I want everything to feel as good as that felt. Mm. Ooh, good question about cartwheel. So, let's talk about the difference between a punch and a smooth step. A punch, you punch into the ground, and you bounce on it like a trampoline. A smooth step, you hold the momentum, jump, hold the momentum, jump, hold the momentum, jump. You can do that coming out of any trick. So, cartwheel, punch, pull. See how my legs snapped down and kind of whipped? This will be cartwheel, smooth step, pull. are strong, great cartwheels. It's just a difference of whether you're bouncing like a trampoline or harnessing your momentum and then pushing. Both work really well. What is pencil flip? I don't know. An icy hook kick? Yes. I would love to show you an icy hook kick. I'll drop my icies in the chat. You guys who got icy emotes, drop them in the chat. Let's do some icy hook kicks. Whew. I'm gonna do like normal hook kick and then do like a full progression. Work my way up. Icy hook. Good, strong, could be better. Pivot it on the heel a bit. Get a little bit closer. Give you a little bit different of an angle.
Oh. Now, I'm gonna go moon kick. So cheat gainer. Felt really good. All right, cart full hyper hook. Hyper hook feels really good. Ooh, the hook kicks feel really good. Can I cheese seven double? Yeah. Ooh, working on hurricane right now. I'm getting closer, getting much closer. Do I prefer punch or smooth? I prefer smooth step. I think smooth step works better for swings. Punch works better for punch tricks. So that's just my opinion. Ooh. Gotta breathe. I am like totally out of breath. But we are making gains, my people. Gains! All right. Now I'm gonna go aerial, front swing rise, swing box cutter. Ooh. This one might take me a few tries. And I'm probably gonna have to go without the headphones, but that's totally fine. Cheat nine, double round. Like double at the end of it? Or double throughout? Or do you mean like fey long, like crescent round? There's a lot of doubles, my guy. I'll try and do cheat nine, buff up. Double roundhouse. Ah, I need to get more of a uh, re-chamber between the kicks. That looked more like a flop than a kick. But we're getting there. Have I ever tried double full hyper hook? Yes. I love double full hyper hook. I will do one right now. Headphones are out. Oh. I guess I'll wait on the aerial semi front swing rise. Double full hyper hook is way more hype. Ooh. Give me a second. I need to think about this though. You have to like visualize it in your head a bunch of times if you want to do it safely. All right, double full hyper hook. From a cartwheel. No music, just me and the quiet gym. Asa! Nice and strong. Yes. Oh. Oh, I was so scared. <laughs> Clip that. Clip that. I was so scared. I thought I was going to die. But we didn't. Yeah, this one, the fabric is a little bit more cottony. It's not that same sporting fabric. Yes, please watch the videos, learn tricking, get good. That is the goal. So I think the sport of tricking would grow like crazy if every tricker got better. Imagine if we had like a thousand trickers that could all dub dub whenever they wanted. That is the dream. If we could get that, then the sport would grow instantly. So it's on the athletes in the community, in my opinion, to scale up their tricks, to get better. And if we do that, then the sport will grow. That is just my personal opinion. That's what I really believe. This sport will grow if our athletes get better. All right, aerial semi, front swing rise, swing through, box cutter. Ooh. No headphones. Gotta get real. weird on that one. I traveled really weird on that one. Ugh. I will get better at it though. It is getting better. It's just not as consistent as I'd like it. I'm doing it good. And if I film like a hundred, 
My best one in that hundred will be like perfect, icy, strong. But I want like 50 out of the hundred, and then 75 out of the hundred, and then 99 out of the hundred are just perfect. And I only mess up the one time I sneeze in the middle of my swing. Cause that just happens sometimes. Getting it. Committed, I would have had that easy. Cork shuriken cutter. Oh, not right now. Let me get this. Let me get this box cutter. I really want to get this box cutter so bad. I'm so frustrated with it. Uh. Okay. On that last box cutter, I Alice in Wonderland in my heels and I clapped them together. Or I'm sorry, Wizard of Oz, my heels and I clapped them together so they hurt a little bit. There's no place like home. Woo! That felt strong, but not clean. I want it to be clean strong. I want it to be both, all the time. How can I make my cork more horizontal? Okay. I see, okay. So for a swing cork, you want more inversion. You want it to swing right over your head like, you're, like I'm swinging my arm right now. And because it's a twisting skill, this is like gainer switch. It's more like this. To do a good cork swing. So it's not perfectly vertical or perfectly horizontal. It's at this like 45. That's where you need to swing your leg when you set. What I usually recommend is people swing between their opposite shoulder and ear. So if I'm swinging my right leg, I wanna swing it between the shoulder and ear. And if I do that, I should get just the right axis for a good icy cork. That'd be what I recommend. Just swing between your shoulder and ear. Oh, I wanna get this box. I'll take it. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Not as good as I want, I'll land it better tomorrow. Cause I kid you not, I'll be doing the same training tomorrow night. Trying to make all the gains. Trying to get dummy strong. Tips for B-twist swing through, I got you. My biggest tip, B-kick, height, power. If you can get a good strong B kick with plenty of inversion and land in a strong eagle, the swing will come easy. But if you're under rotating and you're landing a little bit short and your eagle is like here, it's gonna be really hard to swing. You wanna land all the way up so that way it's nice and easy, a smooth transition. Whew. Someone said cork shuriken cutter? Okay, I got you. Woo, you guys are greedy, but I like it. I'm gonna take my headphones out for this. Yo, have a lovely night, my guy. Sleep well and do the best of things. Ah, oh, I wanna crash moon, but shuriken cutter would probably be easier right now. And I don't wanna go too hard on this shoulder. And if I land a crash moon weird, I will be messed up. Shuriken cutter from a good, strong master scoop. Oh, thick, thick. I almost over rotated that one, and I never over rotate shuriken cutters. Sus, sus. If you over rotate a shuriken cutter, you could like wreck your stuff. 
Whoo, but it feels good. Hmm. All right, I'm coming up to the end of my workout. So if you guys want to suggest any tricks, now is the time. Yo, have a lovely night, my dude. If you want me to do a trick before you leave, I'm so happy to do it. I think today we made some good gains on aerial semi front swing rise. I've swung it into a double cork a few times, but it needs more work for it to be consistent. I want it to be consistent. How's my double back progress? It's going good. Look at this round off back tuck. Ooh, I could do it. Oh, I literally have to open up because I don't want to die. But I'm alone in the gym right now and you shouldn't do something as dangerous as a double back alone in the gym. So if I have homies, if I bring in the homies, maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do it. No, it's dummy high. I could do it easy. I just need to do it. Have I seen Ethan Turner's Shirk and Cutter Cairo? No, but I'm gonna look that up. I'm gonna look that up quick. Ooh, Carful Hyper Front Swing Rise. I'll try that. Especially since I was working front swings all day. I didn't commit to the front swing, but that's the right idea. Yeah, that one was more commitment. And lost headphones. Might be lost forever. That's okay. <laughs> Can I do cork D leg? Yes, yes, I would love to do a cork D leg. <laughs> I'm landing things in semi-ish because I've been training it all day. Okay, it's in catharsis. Yo, guys, if you haven't seen it yet, go check out Ethan Turner's catharsis. I'm probably gonna watch it right after this. He does side swipe, front swing Cali roll. All right, I gotta see it to believe it. And I will see it right after this because that is awesome. Holy crap. I want to do a few more aerial semi front swing rises. I think they're really important and I really want to drill them, get them dummy consistent. Yeah. Oh, I want to just be able to go forever. I need to work on my gainer semi as well. But I really want to get a strong aerial semi or a stronger aerial semi. Yo, thank you, yeah. Ice Lord 12 will probably come out in probably a month when my shoulder heals. I like doing the Ice Lord samplers as a single session sampler where I just go hamburgers. But I need to be feeling good to do one of those sessions. My shoulder needs more time. Whew. Aerial semi front swing wraps. Woo. Grind, work, train. That's how we get better. Okay. Let's see. I will end on a really strong double full hyper hook. Because the one I did earlier felt nuts. Just stupid good. And I want to do another, and I want it to be even better. Oh, I love this trick. Double full hyper hook is one of my favorite ways to enter combos. <sighs> we got this. Thank <laughs> you. 
On that note, we are gonna end the stream. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Thank you to the people who subscribed, who were just here from the very beginning and who really care about me growing, mastering, tricking. And thank you guys for watching the videos, for learning and using my content to become a better athlete. That is like my entire goal with mastering tricking is for just trickers to get better, happier, healthier, and stronger. So thank you guys so, so much. I'll be back here again tomorrow night, literally, well, not the same time, probably a little bit later. And yeah, thank you guys again. Please have a lovely night. Be good to each other, be kind. I'm gonna go home and stretch for like two hours. My body really hurts. And hopefully I will get a crazy night's sleep tonight. That is the goal, that is the dream. We'll see if it happens. I have new kittens. Whew. But thank you guys so much. Please have a lovely night. Be kind to each other and everything else. Whew. I'm gonna take another sip. It's been a long day. Oh, thank you so much. I love you guys coming in and being a part of this. It just means the world to me. Seriously, thank you so, so much. Have I ever tried shuriken? I haven't tried it. I can do shuriken cutter turbo, landing on both feet, but it feels kind of suspect and I just don't want to push it that hard. So I feel like I could do it if I trained up to it, but I really don't want to train up to it because it's, it's scary. It's a really difficult trick that can ruin your knees and the rest of your body. And I really care about my body. All right, have a lovely night guys. Sleep well.